Paris Review. This is Eliza Griswold. I'm going to read a Mark Strand poem from issue 125 from the winter of 1992. A poem called After Our Planet, which is extremely prescient, as many of Mark's poems. You may notice I am not on a couch. I am rather awkwardly positioned in front of a rug. Uh, a rug that I got many years ago in Afghanistan. Mark was a massive fan, an obsessive collector of killums, and this rug is not a killum, but it's a little homage to him. And yeah, I was trying to avoid the bookshelf porn, um, which we've all already grown so tired of, and tried to do something that Mark might like. So. It's weird, but it's the best I can do. So here is After Our, After Our Planet by Mark Strand. I am writing from a place you have never been, where the trains don't run and planes don't land, a place to the west, where heavy hedges of snow surround each house, where the wind screams at the moon's blank face, where the people are plain and fashions, if they come, come late and are seen as forms of oppression, sources of sorrow. This is a place that sparkles a bit after 7 p.m., then goes out and slides into the funeral home of the stars, and everyone dreams of floating like angels in sweet-smelling habits, of being released from sundry services into the round of pleasures there for the asking, Days like pages torn from a family album, endless reunions, the heavenly choir at the barbecue, adjusting its tone to serve the occasion and everyone staring, stunned into magnitude. The soldiers are gone and now the women are leaving. The dogs howl at the moon and the moon flees through the clouds. I wonder if I shall ever catch up. I think of the shining cheeks the serious palates of my friends, and I am sure I am not of their company. There was a time when I touched by the pallor of truth, when the fatal steps I took seemed more like the drift of summer crossed at times by the scented music of rain. But that was before I was waved to the side by the officer on duty and told that henceforth I would have to invent my pleasure, carve it out of the air, subtract it from the future and I could have no illusions. A mysterious crepe would cover my work. The roll of a drum would govern the fall of my feet in the long corridors. And listen, the officer said, on any morning, look down into the valley, watch the shadows, the clouds dispersing, then look through the ice into nature's frozen museum. See how perfectly everything fits in its space. I have just said goodbye to a friend and I'm staring at fields of corn stalks. Their stubble is being burned and the smoke forms a gauze over the sun's blank face. Off to the side, there is a line of poplars and beyond someone is driving a tractor. Does he live in that little white house? Someone is playing a tape of birds singing. Someone has fallen asleep on a boxcar of turnips. I think of the seasonal possibilities. Oh, pretty densities of white on white. Oh, snowflake lost in the vestibules of April air. Beyond the sadness, the empty restaurants, the empty streets, the small lamps shining down on the town. I see only the stretches of ice and snow, the straight pines, the frigid moon. I would like to step out of my heart's door and be under the great sky. I would like to step out and be on the other side and be part of all that surrounds me. I would like to be in that solitude of soundless things, in the random company of the wind to be weightless, nameless, but not for long. For I would be downcast without the things I keep inside my heart and in no time I would be back. Ah, the old heart in which I sleep in which my sleep increases, in which my grief is ponderous.
in which the leaves are falling, in which the streets are long, in which the night is dark, in which the sky is great, the old heart that murmurs to me of what cannot go on, of the dancing, of the inmost dancing. I go out and sit on my roof, hoping that a creature from another planet will see me and say, there's life on Earth, definitely life. See that Earthling on top of his home? his manifold possessions under him, let's name him for our planet. Whoa.